Well, it's October 7th, and the first cold front of the season is here. Sean and I are uh, loading up the kayaks. We're going to paddle in about a mile to a spot that's a pretty cool spot uh, overlooking a scrape line uh, that's not too far from a bedding area. Could make for some exciting action. So we've got uh, about a 15 minute paddle in, and then we're going to gear up, get in the stand. Looking forward to it. Here we go. about 8.15 right now. I've been on a stand for about an hour and a half and it's been a constant uh, flow of does and fawns through here. And to give you an idea of what's going on here, got bedding off to the, the west here, the northwest, the northeast, and this little opening here, which is just kind of a hub of deer activity. And another reason I put the stand right here is there's a series of scrapes about 25 yards away out in this little clearing. I put a muddy trail camera on there when I came in the first time and uh, there was a lot of does and fawns and one good buck that had shown up on that scrape. I put the stand up about 25 feet that if any deer got downwind of the stand we're hunting on a, a north-northwest wind that hopefully our scent would blow over the top of them and that seems to be working. A couple of does acted like they could smell something but it wasn't enough to, uh, to spook them and uh, they've all moved off now. So far we've seen about seven or eight different does and fawns so it's been good movement and uh, the temperatures dropped overnight down into the low 40s. Uh, high pressure system is moving through. It's supposed to clear off throughout the day. The pressure is, uh, is rising right now. So overall, I really like this setup. Got food to the north, got a pond, got this little opening here where a bunch of trails converge. And like I said, it just seems to be a hub of activity. And so far this morning has proven that. Well, it's a little after 10 o'clock right now. Saw a lot of activity this morning, uh, all does and fawns, and almost all of them, um, maybe except for a couple, were within range of the stand. A lot of them were right underneath the stand, and it was very hard to, uh, to not pull the trigger on one, having a bunch of mature does close like that, but I'd rather not disrupt this area uh, if I can help it, because like I said earlier, it's relatively close uh, to bedding areas. And uh, I think this could be a really good spot for the rut, so I, I really don't want to stir it up any more than we have to. Obviously, there's a lot of does living in this area, and of course, that's where the bucks are going to be during the rut. So, beautiful day, first cold front in October, and uh, I would imagine somebody is going to see a good buck or get opportunity at a good buck before the weekend is over. Uh, it looks like Sunday, uh, the wind is going to be uh, out of the south southwest which is going to give me another opportunity to go back on to the private ground and hunt for that double main beam buck so we're going to get out of here and uh, look forward to getting back in the tree on sunday